Hello, this is trigonometry lesson 1.1. In this, I will continue with more basics on trigonometry. Uh, now, first of all, any angle theta and 360k plus theta are the same angle. K could be where k is a positive integer. For example, theta is same as 360 plus theta or k2 72 plus theta if k is 2 k is 3 1080 plus theta k is 4 1440 plus theta and so on because theta angle and 360 plus theta 360 after 360 degree rotation the angle theta and 360 plus theta becomes same same way 720 plus theta 1080 plus theta they are the same angles now let's talk about the negative angles let's say this is the OX and this is OY I told you that in clockwise direction the angle is negative let's say the angle is theta so we will denote this is minus theta or if, if this angle is clockwise direction let's say this angle is 60 degree so we will see that it is minus 60 degree because clockwise direction angle are taken as negative now first uh, thing we need to learn that sine of minus theta sine of negative angle is always equals to minus sine theta for example sine minus 60 will be equals to minus sine 60 and we know that sine 60 is equals to root 3 by 2 so answer would be root 3 by 2 what about cos cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta it is positive so cos minus 60 degree is equal to cos 60 degree that is half tan minus theta either you can simply write that this is equal to minus tan theta or you can also write that this is sine of minus theta upon cos of minus theta sine of minus theta is minus sine theta upon cos of minus theta is cos theta again it is the same minus tan theta so tan if you want to remember it's okay if you don't want to remember then even then it's okay but the only you should understand is that sine of minus theta is sine theta cos of minus theta is cos theta and that is about the negative angle next thing about the quadrant this is x is x is x axis this is minus x this is y this is minus y this is the first quadrant this is angle 90 degree in first quadrant this is the first quadrant this is the second quadrant when angle theta lies between 90 and 180 this is the third quadrant and this is fourth quadrant in the first quadrant all are trigonometric identities are positive all are positive in this sine and cosec are the positive it means when sine angle lies between and cosec angle lie between 90 and 180 sine and cosec are positive or you can say that when angle lies between 90 and 180 sine and cosec are positive in third quadrant tan and cot are positive in fourth quadrant cos and sec are positive other are negative it means that if angles lies at the fourth quadrant that is 270 and 360 if the angle lies between 270 and 360 cos and sec are positive if angle lies between 180 and 270 tan and cot are positive if angle lies between 90 and 180 sin and cosec are positive and the first quadrant all are positive and how to easily remember this you can remember after school to college it means first quadrant after means a all are positive s stand for first letter s means sign is positive in the second quadrant t means t and tan is positive tan and cot are positive in the third quadrant and c means cos and secant are positive in the fourth quadrant so easy to remember method is after school to college so very important which angle will be 
which identity will be positive for which angle I just explained you. Now I will simplify explain you uh, how to calculate the sine cos th tan theta for bigger angles. Let's discuss that. Now in books is very difficultly explained how to calculate the value of sine cos tan for bigger angles. But I will explain in the easiest manner. 90 plus minus theta 270 plus minus theta sine of 90 plus minus theta or 270 plus minus theta will give you plus minus cos theta plus minus we will decide decide on the base of quadrant cos will give you plus minus sin theta tan will give you plus minus cot theta same way you can say that cot will give you plus minus tan theta cosec will give you plus minus sec theta and lastly sec 270 plus theta or 90 plus minus theta this will give you cosec theta plus minus it means that sine become cos, cos become sine, tan become cot, cot becomes tan, cosec become sec, sec become cosec whenever 90 plus minus theta and 270 plus minus theta is there. Sine plus or minus we will decide based on the quadrant, we know that. Same way if the angle is 180 plus theta or 360 plus minus theta, 180 plus minus theta or you can say 360 plus minus theta. Now sine remains sine plus minus sine theta. It means that sine 180 plus minus theta is always equal to sine theta depending on now sine will change it will be plus or minus depending on quadrant. Cos remain as cos will remain as it is same way same way tan remain as it is tan 180 plus minus theta or tan 360 plus minus theta is same as plus minus tan theta. Coat will be remain plus minus cot theta sec will become plus minus sec theta and cosec will also be plus minus cosec theta it means that identity or trigonometric function will not change trigonometric function will not change when you apply a 180 plus minus theta or 360 plus minus theta now we, i will take some example that will make your concept very much clear now first question is what how to find the value of sine 120 now 120 angle lies in which quadrant it is between 90 and 180 it lies in the second quadrant and we know that in second quadrant sine is positive so we can write this as sine of 90 plus 30 90 plus 30 is 180 now look at this sine 90 plus minus theta is cos theta so it will be cos 30 sin 90 plus 30 will be cos 30 as per this you can see this concept I told you now what will be the sign as angle lies this angle 120 lies in the second quadrant and we know that sine is positive in second quadrant so this will be plus so we have to decide the decide the sign on the basis of the angle which angle that lies in whichever quadrant so sin 90 plus theta is cos theta plus minus you have to set decide based on the angle that your angle lies in what quadrant so cos 30 we know that cos 30 is equal to how much the so cos 30 is equal to your root 3 by 2 and that will be your final answer this first question you can also solve like this this is equal to sin 180 minus 60 this is also 120 you can write this again angle lies in second quadrant we know that sine 180 plus minus theta sine 180 plus minus theta is remains sine theta that is sine 60 now plus minus you decide on the base of your angle angle 120 second quadrant second quadrant sine is positive so this is positive so sine 60 again root 3 by 2 so answer will be same Second question I am going to solve is for example you need to calculate let's say cos 150 
Now cos 150, this is equal to cos 90 plus 60 or you can say that this is equal to cos 180 minus 30, both way the same thing. 180 minus 30 is also 150, 90 plus 60 is also 150. Now cos 90 plus theta. Now I told you 90 plus minus theta, the cos will become sine. You can see that here cos 90 plus minus theta is sine theta. So this will be equal to sine 60. This will be equal to cos 180 minus theta. When angle is 180, uh, uh, function remains same. Cos will remain same. This will be cos 30. Now second thing, uh, plus and minus sine. Now I told you that you have to see the angle. 150 angle lies in the second quadrant. In second quadrant, cos is negative. So overall the value will be negative in both the cases. You have to see the main angle, cos 150. Angle lies in the second quadrant and we know that cos will be negative. Its value will be negative. Cos 150, its value will be negative for 150 angle. So we have to apply the negative sign. Now sine 160 would be how much? Minus 3 by root 3 by 2 and cos 30 is again minus root this is root 3 by 2 negative angle so values will be minus root 3 by 2 for cos 150 question 3 is tan of minus 330 degree now i told you that tan of minus theta is equals to minus tan theta this is tan 330 degree now you can break like this this can be broken in two ways Either you can say this is minus of 10, 360 minus 30 or minus of 10, 270 plus 60. Now, tan of 360 minus theta. Now, this, this comes here. 360 plus minus theta, 10 becomes 10. So this will become minus of 10, minus was already there, 10, 30. 10 to 70, 270, 10 become cot. This is cot 60 minus. Now plus minus you have to decide on the base of angle. Now 330 angle lies in the fourth quadrant. 330 angle lies in the fourth quadrant and in fourth quadrant 10 are negative. So this is negative. This is negative. In fourth quadrant 10 is negative so we can say that this is equal to plus tan 30 or cot 60. Now tan 30 is simply 1 by root 3 and cot 60 is also 1 by root 3. So the answer will be 1 by root 3 will be your final answer. Next is cosec 1950. Now I told you that theta or 360k plus theta is the same thing. So we will break like this. This is cosec 360 into 5 plus 150. Here k is 5. Now this can be written as cosec 360 plus 360k plus theta is equal to cosec theta cosec 150. Now this you can break cosec 150 as cosec 180 minus 30 or you can say that this is equal to cosec 90 plus 60. Now cosec 180 minus theta, see this, this part, cosec 180 plus minus theta is cosec theta. So this will be equals to cosec 30 degree, 90 plus minus theta cosec will become sec, sec 60 degree. Now plus or minus we have to decide on the quadrant. Now angle 150 lies in the second quadrant and we know that in second quadrant sine and cosec are positive. So sine value, sine cosec 150 will be overall positive in second quadrant. So we have to apply the positive. Now cosec 30, how to calculate sec 60? We don't know. We know this equals to 1 by cos 60. Cos 60 we know this is 1 by half and this will become 2. Cosec 30 we don't know. We know sine 30 this is equals to 1 by sine 30. And sine 30, we know that is 1 by 1 by 2. This is also equals to 2. So our answer would be 2. Next is cot 1500. Can I say this is equals to cot 360 into 4, 1440 plus 60 degree. And we know that 
थ्री सिक्सटी के प्लस थीटा इज इक्वल टू कोट सिक्सटी डिग्री वी डोंट नो कोट सिक्सटी बट वी नो दैट इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन टेन सिक्सटी एंड टेन सिक्सटी आई नो दिस इज रूट थ्री सो आंसर वुड बी वन अपॉन रूट थ्री सो इन दिस वे यू कैन इजली कैलकुलेट सच काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट ट्रिग्नोमेट्री लेसन वन पॉइंट वन बेसिक्स विद एग्जाम्पल इन द नेक्स्ट लेसन आई विल कंटिन्यू विद मोर ऑन ट्रिग्नोमेट्री थैंक यू